Hello, this is an overview of Sullivan on Comp for individual users. So as you might expect, start at the homepage, sullivanoncomp.com, find the login link in the navigation bar, and enter your credentials. A quick note, don't bookmark this page. Rather, after you click Get Started and you're logged in, bookmark this page. So you'll see that all 16 chapters of the content are right here on this table of contents. This is also the home page. And there's also a link to the index. So clicking into any of the chapters will take you to the table of contents for the content of that chapter, a list of all the sections in the chapter. And you know, there's three levels of hierarchy. The, uh, the first one we started at, this, uh, the chapter page is the second level. And then the section pages are where the content is located. You'll see on every page right at the top, there's the uh, description of uh, how to use this page in a citation. And of course, if you want to quote content, you can select it, copy it, and paste it into a Word doc or an email or wherever else you might want to use it. A quick tour of the page itself as you scroll down the page, you can see that there are footnotes. Clicking on a footnote link will take you to the, uh, the bottom of the page where that footnote can be found. And every footnote has an up arrow, which if you click on it, it'll take you right back to the place in the text where you originated. Sullivan and Comp is mobile responsive, which means as you resize uh, the browser, say so that it's maybe the size of a tablet device or a cell phone, you can see this little up arrow appears. And uh, if you were viewing it on a, um, a touchscreen device, you could touch this or uh, on your computer click it, it takes you back to the top of the page. Another uh, thing to be aware of is the navigation structure. So when you're on a section page, you can click uh, Previous or Next. To, uh, to navigate sequentially through the content. Or the center button, of course, takes you back up to the chapter table of contents. But then when you're on a chapter page, these buttons uh, behave the same way, but relative to chapter tables of contents. So clicking the center button here takes you right back out to the main table of contents. There are three different ways to locate content in Sullivan on Comp. Uh, the first one is to navigate just using the table of contents itself, starting at a broad topic and getting narrower using these section titles. They're, they're well named and so that makes it easy to find content. And there's, a, there's a sort of a natural organization to it so that if you're familiar with workers comp already, you can generally intuitively find the thing you're looking for that way. Uh, the next way, of course, is search. There's the search bar at the top of every page. It displays a, a portion of the text from the page that it can be found, as well as a link to, to the page. So you can, you can see the, the page title tells you what the topic is. It's a text search, so if you have a case citation that matches the standard format, we're citing things in the footnotes, and so you'll be able to identify places where that case exists that way. The next resource for finding content is by the index. And you'll see there's three levels of hierarchy. Here's one, two, three. It's well cross-referenced, so if it refers you to another area of the index, it, it also provides a link to that location, which is helpful. And of course, it links directly to the content. So if you find the entry pertaining to the thing you're looking for, you can click right on through to go to that page. Sullivan on Comp publishes quarterly webinars that are live and monthly webinars that are recorded and posted to the site. The monthlies tend to be a half hour of professional credit, and the quarterlies tend to be an hour and a half. So the courses are organized in this webinar section under four titles, Upcoming Courses, Courses in Progress, Completed Courses, and Other Courses, meaning everything else that is neither in progress or completed or upcoming. So. If you're just getting started and there's not an upcoming webinar, all that you're going to see are other courses. 
So if there is a course presently scheduled for some time in the future that you can register for, you can click through and register. But in those periods when the next quarterly webinar has not yet been scheduled, you'll just see that there's nothing scheduled in this upcoming courses section. Now, a course in progress is a, a course that you've clicked through to, to begin, but you haven't completed. And every course has a page that looks like this uh, that you can click through to view the actual video. When you're viewing a video, the best practice really is to view it from start to finish in one sitting. That's not always possible or convenient, so it also tracks your use when you don't do that. But it's worth mentioning that you need to view 100% of it in order to get the certificate. Now, when you have viewed a course to completion, it will automatically generate the certificate. That course will appear under this uh, completed courses section. So after you have viewed it, you'll want to come out to this webinar page and refresh the page. And then that course should move into this completed course section. Clicking on this link will generate your certificate, which you can download. And you can still view the video by clicking on the title. If you have any questions, you can reach us through the contact information on the website uh, for sales or for technical questions support. Thanks for watching this demo.